In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to build a mobile app for Android or iOS only using AI. And no, you don't need to write a single line of code. And yes, that means even a non-technical person can create a full-fledged mobile app in no time. All you gotta do is to just explain what kind of app you want to build and all the features that you want within the app and just press a button and the AI will build it for you. Enough talking, let me quickly jump onto my computer screen and show you the whole process in action. So this right here is Rourke or Rourke AI that allows you to build cross-platform mobile apps using AI. And in order to create a mobile app, the first thing that you're gonna do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to rock.com. And as you can see, it says wipe code a mobile app in minutes. And yes, that's exactly what this platform does. First thing first, head over to rock.com and sign up for a new account. And towards the center itself, you can find a input box asking you to describe the mobile app you want to build. And as I mentioned in the intro, all you gotta do is to just explain what kind of app you want to build in plain English in this input box right here. And no, you don't have to write any code. So in this case, let's say I want to build a mobile app that allows people to, let's say, capture a picture of all the items that they have in their fridge, or let's say upload a photo of all the ingredients that they have. And our app will use AI to analyze the ingredients in the photo and then suggest and come up with all the recipes and all the items that they can create out of it. So that is basically the idea. And later, maybe we can add a database to store all these items and users can check back anytime. So basically that is the kind of app that I want to build. And all I gotta do is to now explain all that in this input box right here. So this is the initial prompt I'll give. And now if you want to give the AI some design inspiration or anything as such, you have the option to upload an image. And if you click on this drop down menu right here, you can also select the specific model that you want to use to build your app. So in this case, we have Sonnet 4, Sonnet 3.7 and GPT-5. So the latest GPT-5 is in here. But in this case, I'll keep it as Sonnet 4. And now all I gotta do is to click on the send button. So there you go. So Rourke started analyzing the prompt that we gave and it has started writing the code. Now it is creating the index.tsx file and towards the left side, this is where you interact with the AI. So you can give follow up prompts and make changes to the app by describing exactly what in this input box right here. And you can click on the send button and towards the right side, this is where you can find the preview of the app. So after the AI is done generating the initial version, you can find a live preview of the same in here. And the even cooler part is that if you take your smartphone and scan this QR code on here, you'll be able to view a live preview of the app in your phone itself. So that is yet another cool thing. So the AI is now creating the app and we will wait till it is done and I'll see you afterwards. All right, so there you go. It says, I have built Fridge Chef, a beautiful AI powered app that turns your fridge ingredients into delicious recipes. And here we have all the app features, smart ingredient detection, dual capture option, personalized recipes, beautiful design, and even recipe management. And now it is finally fine tuning the app to make it even better. And hopefully we should be able to see the live preview in here shortly. So there you go. So this right here is the UI of our app and it says Fridge Chef, turn your ingredients into delicious recipes. And here we have two buttons in the get started section. So the first option is to capture a photo and the second option is to upload an image. And it says how it works, capture a photo, analyze and cook. And here we have the second option, okay. Once we scan all these recipes, all the items will appear. I mean, the selected item will appear in the My Recipe section. And now to test if the app actually works, I'll click on this Upload Image option for now. And I'll select the photo of, let's say, this particular photo. As soon as I upload a photo, I get the following error. And now I'll click on this Details option. Okay, so we have some syntax error in here. No issues. I'll click on this Try to Fix All button. And I'll click on Send. AI itself will take care of fixing all the issues and that is one more key thing. As you build your apps, you will run into errors but the good thing about using Rourke is that the AI within Rourke will intelligently find the error and then with the press of a button, you can automatically have Rourke fix it for you. Any choice, let's wait for it to complete. And now while that is being done, let's explore rest of the UI in here. So towards the top, you can find two options. One is code and the other one is preview. And right now we are in the preview mode. And now if I switch over to the code mode, I'll be able to find all the code within our app. For example, here we have the layout file, not found page, recipe detail page, results page, and all that code is in here. And if I want to, let's say, push all the content to a GitHub repo, I can click on this integrations button towards the top and I can connect it to GitHub and then have my code sync with my GitHub repo. So if I want to do that, I can do that. And next up, if I want to, let's say, add a database to our project, I can click on this option called as backend. I can add the same. And if I want to store any environment variables, I can put that up in here as well. And now here we have the option to clone this project into a new chat, download the code and even publish the same as well. 
so in which ways we will wait for the ai to fix the error and then we can take it up from there so there you go the error is now fixed is what i guess and i also asked rourke to use my open a api key instead so i just went ahead and opened up the platform and copied the api key and passed it on to rourke and asked it to implement the same and this right here is the now working version of our app and if i click on this upload image button and select an image it says analyzing ingredients and it may take a few moments so let's see so there you go here we have the ingredients and it says detected ingredients and towards the top we can find the preview of the photo that you uploaded and here we have all these items like cheese tomato sauce red bell pepper olive oil basil pizza dough and all that and here we have recipe suggestions and two cards that is vegetarian pizza and also spicy artichoke dip and here to the bottom we also have a button that says view all recipes and if i click on that one it opens up even more recipes so it says okay here we have all of that and hopefully if i click on one of these it opens up the detailed page so let me click on this one right here and there you go vegetarian pizza a delicious homemade pizza have topped with a variety of vegetables and cheese and the ui of the app is a lot better right so it is actually really great is what i would say and here we can find the time it takes to create the recipe how easy it is and also total number of servings and then we have all these ingredients in here and as i scroll down i can also find all these instructions as well so look at that how easy right and if i open a different one same is the case and we have all these details like ingredients instructions and everything else so the main functionality of the app is indeed working so i just went ahead and asked the ai to create an app and we just gave a description and with the press of a button the ai has went ahead and created a fully functional website and the best part is that roar creates full-fledged cross-platform applications for both android and ios and towards the top i can also find an option to preview the app for android ios and also web and if i click on this android button it opens up a preview of the app in this android interface and it says loading and here we also have a qr code and if we click on this web icon it opens up the web version of the app so there you go and now if I click on this Android option, there you go. Here I can click on continue and maybe close this one. And there you go. Here we have the preview, the scan option, the recipe option. And, and next up what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open my phone and scan this QR code and show you the live preview of the app in my iPhone. So here I have opened up camera and I'll scan this QR code right here and click on this app link and it opens up this page and by the way i already have the expo go app installed and if you don't already have that you can just install it and now i'll click on this open button right here and now it opens up the expo go app and it says opening the project and here we can find the app icon so this one right here is the default one and it says downloading and it should be done anytime and look at that so this right here is the app running in our phone and the exact ui and everything is exactly the same and I can scroll, I can move around and pretty much everything looks great. And now it is moment of truth and we should check the actual functionality of the app, right? So in this case, I'll click on this take photo option right here and it says experience needs permission. I'll click on allow. And now here I have opened up the photo on my laptop. So what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and snap a photo of this image from here. So there you go. The scanning is now complete and here it has told us the detected ingredients, the recipe suggestions, and if I click on one of these, hopefully it opens up the recipe card. So let's see. There you go. Here we have all the recipes and I can click on one of them. Let me tap one of them and the scroll functionality and all of that is working. And there you go. Here we have the recipes, the instructions, ingredients, and pretty much everything else is working in our mobile app or the app within iPhone as well. So this is how simple it is. I can move around. I can come back and go and yeah. It's super snappy and it works. So as you saw, the app is working both on the web interface right here and also on our iPhone and pretty much all the features that we asked for is there and the app works flawlessly. And now if I have any photo or let's say a screenshot and if I want to turn it into code, I can click on this button right here, upload the photo and give a description and the AI will go ahead and build it out. And if I click on this option right here, I'll be able to find the project name, the URL slug, iOS bundler, I mean, you can change the icon and you can actually change quite a lot of, you know, settings and configure the same from the screen right here. And now this right here is the default icon right here. And once changed, I can click on the save changes option. And now here is the interesting part. If I click on this publish button towards the top right, and if I click on this publish button, it will now publish the web version of the app and anyone can access it. And if I click on this publish to app store button, 
it will now open up a pop up like this and i can click on new submission connect to my apple account and then submit the app for review all within rock.com so in this case i actually don't have an apple account so i'll just go ahead and close this one for now and click on publish to google play it opens up this page where it has extensive documentation as to how to publish the same and next up if you want to add a backend to your app such that all the recipes are actually stored in a database and it is persistent all you got to do is to click on this integrations button towards the top and you will find an option called as backend and it says store data secure api keys and enable user interactions like post and likes with database integration and now if i click on this enable option so it has automatically sent a message it says please enable backend and it says i'll help you enable backend for this project let me first examine the current structure okay so it is installing a couple of packages and dependencies so we will wait till it is done so there you go the backend setup is now complete and here we have the complete information as to what is implemented the dependencies installed api endpoints available and pretty much everything is in here so yeah it seems like the backend implementation part is also complete with the press of a button i managed to add a real backend and here we can find all the code and the files it has created as well if you want to you can also modify the app such that all the recipes that we that the AI generate will be automatically stored into the database and it will be persistent you can go ahead and simply give a prompt something like this every time the user scans a recipe we want to store the same or let's say the results so that they can visit the recipes section and view the same anytime okay and i can hit enter and in a similar fashion you can also go ahead and ask the ai to implement pretty much any feature into your app like authentication such that only authenticated people will be able to access the app you can do that as well and now it seems like the backend implementation is now complete and here i can find all the uh, files it has created and also every time now i scan a recipe every results will be stored in this recipe section right here so as you saw, this is how simple it is to create a full-fledged mobile app for both Android and iOS using Rourke AI. And now if you do want to create applications like this, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below, head over to rock.ai and you can quickly get started. And now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.